In 2017, I did a video called Who Pays the Most to Stream Your Music? and it received over a hundred thousand views. And in that video, we found out that 90,000 streams would make you $1,472 per month, which equaled the U.S. monthly minimum wage. But what if I told you there's a way you could make $8,956 for that same 90,000 streams? My name is SG1, co-founder of the Grammy Award winning team, The Peacemakers, and welcome to Music Millionaires, where we teach you the ins and outs of the music business and ways to capitalize off of your music. And every now and then, I'll teach you the secrets of the music elite that no one wants to talk to you about. Now, if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, you might want to consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the bell notification because it costs you 100% nothing and will only help your music career become better. Now, what if I told you there's a way that you can make anywhere from six to $99 for every 1,000 of your streams, equaling nine cent per stream? Would that interest you? And I know what you're asking, is this bot related? 100% no. However, let me give you the backstory real quick. A few years ago, there was a study done by a group named Information is Beautiful, and they wanted to know what it would take for an artist to receive a monthly minimum wage of $1,472. And I shared this information with you guys, and we learned streaming royalty rates really suck. And if you plan on becoming Richie Rich, you need a boatload of streams. Now, outside of the obvious, you need to have a reserve of listeners on standby anytime you drop a new single like the entire population of New York City, or you can just simply do a video. See, I'm constantly pushing you guys to make YouTube videos to get your social awareness up and connect with more potential fans. But this time, I really mean it, because what I stumbled across would make not just uploading your music to streaming platforms obsolete, but something you'd be second guessing. You can bypass YouTube and all the other platforms measly 002 cent or even lower royalty rates and make anywhere from $6 to $100 for every 1,000 streams. And you're asking, how is this possible, SG? Well, because of ad rates. See, music royalty rates and entertainment rates are some of the lowest payouts on the YouTube platform. So let me explain. See, this is a blank screen. Not really stimulating, right? But if I add music to it, now I've given you audio stimulation, which is okay for the brain. So we really can't call this entertainment. We can call this audible stimulation. And in the eyes of advertisers, this has less value because it's based on audible sound only. There is no pictures, no motion involved that will stimulate your brain to take action. So when it comes to access to this form of entertainment, Advertisers tend to want to pay less. So to help you comprehend a little bit more, when record labels are putting together a budget for an artist, that budget can be anywhere from a couple hundred thousand dollars up to millions of dollars. However, when TV series, film, or documentaries are put together, oftentimes it requires a much higher budget to complete the project, making the medium much more valuable, especially when the production company and or movie theater markets it in a way that entices the millions of people to go and watch it in movie theaters and or watch it on companies platforms like Netflix. So what does this have to do with your music and making more per stream? Well your music is a part of all movie and TV productions. There is not one movie that does not have some element of a sound effect or music involved that increases the productivity and increases the value of the movie because now it is encompassed by audio and visual which elicits emotions. Take a scene out of any movie and eliminate the music. What do you have? Dialogue, a scene that you're really trying to grasp. But when you add the element of music to support what you are physically seeing, It stimulates an emotion behind the scene within itself, creating more value to the scene. Hence, higher ad revenue in the form of ad rates. Now, what does all that mean for music producers and artists? Simply put, YouTube has advertisers who pay for spots on your videos. And most of the time, the companies have to bid for the dominating spot on the videos that play. 
However, they pay more for relevant videos based on their submitted budget per 1,000 views because they have a more higher chance of a customer buying when the video they are watching matches with their product. This bid in return increases the CPM of the videos. Now, what does CPM stand for? Cost per thousand or cost per milli. And it's a term used to describe the price of 1,000 advertisement impressions. So if YouTube charges, for example, $99 per 1,000 views for videos pertaining to the subject music producers or music industry, as shown here on my back end panel, you will make that or even more. Now, how you ask, can you, the simple music producer or artist, take advantage of this? Easily, by doing what I've suggested in the past. Make how-to videos or videos on subjects within your niche or understanding. Then because every video should have a theme track supporting the video or moment, you insert your music. Now, this works doubly so if you do a tutorial on, let's say, sell your beats from FL Studio on these top three sites. So you are basically doing a tutorial using FL Studio, showing how to make a beat, then where to sell it on the top three websites. I use that as just an example because as you see, the title of my video, Three Places to Sell Your Beats You Overlooked, generated a CPM of $118, which could have made me a ton of money had it ranked and got me 100,000 views, which could have made me an easily $10,000. Now, this is going to require a little bit of homework from you as far as researching ad CPMs. However, it is well worth it. Also, for those of you who are ready to jump right in, I must tell you that before you can jump in and start making all of this money, you must qualify to be able to monetize your YouTube channel. By having at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time minutes within a given year. Now, it also helps to be a part of an MCN, also known as a multi-channel network, who could get you even higher rates and help you optimize your channel, as well as give you the tools to help make your cha YouTube channel even better. However, full disclosure, there will be a revenue split by joining an MCN like ours. And it also will allow you to get faster payouts versus having to wait until you reach YouTube's $100 threshold and bank requirements, as some MCNs will and can pay you via PayPal, making sure you get your money faster. Now, there's much more I can talk about on the subject. I just ask that you do some homework and choose the MCN best for you. And if you're interested in joining our MCN, you can find the link in the description below. Now, if you can't monetize just yet due to YT requirements, there are still options like music distribution, and I'll be more than happy to help you with that if you just email me. Now, if you found this video insightful or helpful, I only ask to like and more importantly, share this video so that other musicians can benefit from it. Again, I'm SG1 from The Peacemaker saying music is life. We out.